Nice music. <laughs> What's up? Today I'm going to be playing Life is Strange. This game has been getting a lot of good reviews, so I'm pretty excited to play it. Um, the process of finally getting to record it has been a nightmare, but <laughs> I bought it on PS4 because I really wanted to play it on PS4, but my Elgato software was being an asshole. So then I bought it on Steam. It's five bucks, whatever. Well, turns out a lot of people, including me, uh, have the problem with um, the audio echoing in the game, so couldn't really play it with it just echoing constantly, so I messed around with my Elgato software a little bit more and got it to work all right. But, uh, so yeah, I'm excited to play this game. Um, it's an episodic game, so it'll be coming out in five different episodes. This will be the first one. So it's kind of like the Walking Dead series where they release it in seasons. This one will just be in episodes. Pretty much the same thing. Uh, start a new game. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Alright. I like games like that. Oh! Holy shit! <laughs> that scared me. Wake up, girl! Wake up, girl! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in the storm? How did I get here? And where is here? There's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Well, let's go. Let's get you there, girl. This is crazy. Looks pretty cool. I'm really excited to play this. Whoa, what is that? Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? Uh, let's try to get inside. Or not. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, that's crazy. Oh! Look out! Whoa. Okay, good. <laughs> that was so surreal. Mostly called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, <sighs> can you hell? give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There this is kind of reminding me of uh, Beyond Two Souls. Because of her images of hopeless faces. A little bit. You feel like Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. What? I like that picture. I think that's cool. I think that looks really cool. I feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. Look. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. And frankly, if anybody else looked at this, what would they think? I haven't read much by him. Just random stuff. Oh. What the hell? Details. 
This is the girl that got the paper thrown at her. Like, I want to read through all this stuff, but then this video will be, like, forever long. I actually will read this part. My name is Max Ca Caulfield. And ever since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens binder. Maybe it's a way for me to be a part of the world, but at a safe distance. For some reason, I was always drawn to old analog camera gear rather than digital tech. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in great company, right? And now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors, on a scholarship even. I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever, at least until I left without talking to her once in five years. Damn. And it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. So I'm 18 now, an official adult, even though I don't always feel so wise or mature, and I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with retro camera at my side. Alright, maybe I will read all of these, just cause. <laughs> Not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world, he's also my teacher. And one of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell, how often do you get to be mentored by one of your inspirations? I've always loved his deco and goth style, and he's so versatile, or versatile, however you say it, <laughs> with all of his incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson can be a bit condescending. Condescending. He's pretty hip for his age, but kind of aloof and sometimes pretentious. He has this, this smug smile when he thinks he's right. But I do think he's preparing us for how tough it is to be a full-time artist. He acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He really wants me to enter a photo in this Everyday Hero contest, but I've done a good job of avoiding that. The winner gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Blackwell Academy and get national exposure. I'd like to think my work could be good enough to win, and I'm honored Jefferson even bugs me about the contest. Sweet. I've forgotten if I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in the past month. She's really sweet and nice, even though the other students make fun of her abstinence campaign. Even if they act immature, everybody at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit, in fact. I know she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. But she's been, been extra quiet and introverted the past couple of weeks. She looks like she's in zombie mode. I wish I could help her, but I can barely help myself. I wonder if all that bullying has worn her down. I can see how it would. I have to make an effort to talk to her more often. Maybe invite her to tea or movie. Although she's an adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch R-rated films. Bullying is just not nice, people. Don't bully people. Uh, then there's Victoria Chase, the elite black elite of Blackwell Academy, and a total bitch. <laughs> I hate saying that. I just don't know why somebody who's r so rich and beautiful needs to be so fucking mean. 18 years old at a prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars. Not really show, not reality show contestants. Victoria does everything for maximum drama. She l usually wastes her time calling me out in class and taunting Kate Marsh. For reals, I wish her parents could see her in action. They'd cut off that trust fund fast. Then again, she's in the Vortex Club, and they seem to own the school. So, may so maybe that's why she doesn't give a shit. The odd thing is that she doesn't know art and photography. She can't even... She does know. Not doesn't. <laughs> she can even say all those French names that break my tongue. Her word, her work is a little cold, but she has a good eye. She also has an eye for Mr. Jefferson, which is so obvious that I'm embarrassed for her. She does everything but sit in his lap. He keeps his distance, though. We can all tell she's trying to win the Everyday Hero Contest. I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's somebody she can't buy or seduce. Ha! Alright. Uh, episode 1. What happens if I click on this? I don't know. Oh, just pictures. Yeah. What else? Blackwell Academy. Like bullshit. Map. No, I'm not done. I'm not anybody done. Anybody else did this? What would they think? Oh. Oh, can we open these texts? Have a, a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Nice. Hey, can we move up? Hey, Max, you around? Always, you okay? 
Did you want to get tea later today? Absolutely. I'll be free after four. Talk to you later. Mom, happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you since you were brought to us. Warren. Make sure you check out ne Necromantic on my flash drive. Maha. Oh, what's this? Meet for coffee after school. I need an excuse not to study. Hey, Max, let's bust shit up. Wait, I have to study for a physics test. Uh, don't ignore this message. What's going on with him? Been ignoring him. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame Let's any one of you see. in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. Yeah, old school's nice. What if Arvis chose to capture Take a selfie. The height of their yeah. Take a selfie. Do it. She had a brilliant eye. So, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I do? Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> The point remains that the portraiture <laughs> has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, yes. since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Oh, uh... I don't know, You're asking dude. Me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Bitch! Good, Victoria. The daguerre Damn, process dude. brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self What the hell's going on on that computer? Cornelius. That porn? <laughs> you can find out all about him in your textbook. Or even online. Oh, thank God that's over. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> uh. That was me in school. I I tried to be invisible Victoria as doesn't I could. waste a second <laughs> kissing ass. What's this? Even her school books are gift-wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What, what? is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Yeah, kids can be mean. Of course. Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I don't want to use it. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Look. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. Yeah. Anyways, uh, use? I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Damn! 5300 bucks? It's expensive. It's this. Look. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Yes. Very cool. <laughs> what in the hell? So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. That's pretty risque. <laughs> to be hanging up in a classroom, don't you think? I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That is a pretty cool cover. I will admit that. What's this? That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. What the hell's wrong with her? Why is she so negative on herself? She needs some self-esteem. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. I 
Nice. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Kate. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Um, you seem quiet today? You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Wanna go grab a cup of tea? I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Let's talk later, Max. Okay. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Dear Kate, Purge. we love your porn video. What the hell is wrong with kids? like what's the point of being so mean to people take a picture of this I guess how'd it turn out don't get a look at it I guess I guess I can look at it in my journal this is definitely where cameras go to heaven oh man they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses and look at that vintage rangefinder. What? What? <laughs> Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Maybe because he thinks you're a good photographer. Like, she has the worst self-esteem I've ever seen. <laughs> Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. It sure does. You can <gasps> never escape the lighthouse here. Is that the lighthouse in our dream? What's in here? Can I go in there? No. What's this? Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. No, he is he not. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. Mr. But I Jefferson. Still take my instant camera. Mr. Jefferson. Wait, what is I gonna say if I look at her? Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Hey, Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh. Do I have to? Do I have to? Even though it's a I good just picture, don't I think. think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. All right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> See ya. I'm not gonna turn in my picture, I guess. How cute I looked yet. I was about to. Like you you Welcome to the real cute. world. Hot. Then I might send you a special and picture. Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. I'm not paying. <laughs> she plays it so much. High school. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> like, she's. I feel like she's just saying that stuff for no reason. She's so fucking shy. Don't text and drive. Evan. Alyssa. Locker. Is this my locker? I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. Imagine a world without you. 
American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around hey. you. Can I help him? Driving oh, damn. He's so nice. Seaside. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Yeah, I do too. That'd be cool. Missing person. It looks like she's been gone for months. contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. There's so much stuff to look at. To the bathroom. I wonder where that Warren guy is. This Warren? Trevor. Alright, I'm gonna go in the bathroom. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> okay. Graffiti. Now, who would bother to write that crap? I don't know. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Probably. <laughs> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Turn that picture in. Fuck it. What the hell? I like that picture. <gasps> Butterfly. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. No, you don't usually see butterflies in your high school bathroom. Take a picture of it. What are you doing in the girls' bathroom, dude? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Whoa. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? Whoa. What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! <gasps> no! Shit. Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. What the hell? I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now. Shit! Can you give oh, me an example shit. of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe this. Capture the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Ago, Victoria. 
Why are L2 to rewind? Because Yay, I my camera's it. fixed. I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. Anybody? I'm a human time machine, you bitch. Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Shay, uh, take because a selfie together, again, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and When children. I took my selfie, Jefferson She's asked me a question. Yeah. Yeah. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, I gotta pee. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. Damn it. We can talk more after <laughs> class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me what after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's faces, making okay. them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype... Rewind the conversation. Hold R2 to rewind faster. Woohoo! Cool. Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? Uh, the Daguerrean process, duh. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Thanks. The Daguerrean process ha, made bitch. portraiture hugely <laughs> popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. But you can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. Yeah, that's right. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Yeah, okay, I need to get out of here. You are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes. Let's go yes, save that blue-haired girl. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't what? even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. God damn it. Uh. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Um... I'm not avoiding. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the... Elusive right moment? Yeah. Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Okay, bye. See ya. Wait. I want to quickly undo a previous action. What is this? What am I doing? Not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera eye, and everybody should oh, have totally. that chance. Oh, totally. I only right. want to share what. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one. Okay, skip. Uh, John Lennon said, "I'm on top of it." I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. Ha! All the right answers. Good. Yes. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay. 
Let's go save her now. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't run, tell run, anybody. Run. They'll think I'm crazy. Yeah, no shit. Run to the bathroom. Enter. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing okay, around with! Okay, what do I do? What are you doing? Come what on, do I do? Put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Wow, sir. So I need a hammer to break it open. Shit. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Just get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Ever even miss the punk ass, would they? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I need a hammer to break it open. Break it. No, 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 no. What do I do? Max, don't fuck around. Rewind. Sorry, I don't know what the fuck's going on. This than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! It's not there now. Oh, shit! God damn it! I can't. I don't know what's going on. I need a hammer to break it open. I, what do I do? I'm so confused right now. Tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hell of Hammer. More for okay, this why couldn't I do that before? No way. There. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. Well, it is real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. Okay. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone yeah. and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Yeah, do your fucking job. Back off, bitch. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Are you the principal or something? Something. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. No. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! God damn, I don't know. What should I do? Should I report him or not? No, it's so... Oh, shit. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Okay. Think about this for a minute, Katie. Just think hard. I'm gonna hide it. Or should I report him? I don't know! It's like... I'm gonna hide it. I'm just gonna do it. Okay. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's God nothing damn. to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. What? I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now, go what? Class, please. 
No, he does not buy that. What the hell? I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Oh, shit. I don't know. You won't be able to undo your choices after leaving this area. Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know if I should report that kid or not. I mean, he. We know that he would have killed her. So it's like. Ugh. Max, you better go on outside. Okay. I. Don't wander around here. Get on outside. I don't know. I don't know. This is so difficult. Such a difficult decision. Maybe I should report. You know what? I made the decision. I'm sticking with it. I'm getting out of here. Damn. Okay. <clears throat> I'm having second thoughts about my decision. Oh god, I have a text from Warren. Hello. Sorry running late. I'll meet you at the lot. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash. Well, what happened? Let's drive. I don't want to go that way. Where do I go? I have to look at the map. Okay. Actually, I think I'm going to end that there. There for now. Uh, this game is really intense so far. Really liking it. Can't wait to play more of it. I will see you in the next video.